Hello, and welcome to Alma, Missouri. Now today, we're going to be, well, taking this load of cattle over to the uh, butcher shop. And uh, we're going to be setting up to harvest our peas and our oats. Yeah, you heard that right. Harvest is already here. It is, it is already August, guys. And uh, I did realize something. We might, we might be able to get one more... Um, load of cattle in before they are uh ready to be sold because or for the meat is at its high price and we need to sell it so we're not going to get all four pins in this year which isn't great but at the same time i i understand why but oh well but regardless guys it is harvest time we need to get all of this done i need to go have a nice long discussion with the uh the, the helpers and make them realize that it's not two fields anymore that that those, those two big fields are now one really big field so yeah stick around hopefully they uh get the uh they, they get it through their brain that you know it's a, it's a big field but who knows all right so hopefully you guys enjoy what you see today and uh i'm gonna shut up because i feel like i'm rambling and we're gonna get to work Well, the workers aren't here yet, so I figure, well, won't hurt to actually, you know, go ahead and get everything set up. But so we're over here in the old Magnum that we don't really use that often anymore. Figured, why not? Should probably fire her up, get the cobwebs out of her. Because, uh, yeah, it's, it's still a good tractor. We just, we don't really have a need for it. Um... Part of me wants to... Oh, hey. Uh. I was... I was so worried about harvest that... I forgot to go buy cattle. I wonder if... I wonder how much begging and pleading I'll have to do... To get them to actually bring me some cattle. Hmm... Well, looks like I am, uh, I'm going to start doing some begging and pleading. Because, oh, that's the wrong button. I don't want to unhook the grain trailer and uh, hook up the cattle pot and run into town. So, um, I'm going to call the sale barn. See if they will, uh, or see if anybody around there will be willing to run me some cattle. Because I'm a big dummy and I forgot to run down there and pick them up myself. So, yeah, kind of an issue, but it's it's definitely not an it's not an issue. It's an ish me. So uh, don't worry about it. I'll get it handled, and uh, we'll uh, hopefully get those combines rolling here before too long. Well, I'm sitting here with the uh, worker, and they seem to understand the assignment. Now, however long it takes for them to forget the assignment. Yeah, that's definitely going to happen. They're uh they're they're actual idiots. So, I mean, they're going to forget it here sooner or later. But as per usual, I am going to sit in this nice big comfy Steiger and uh follow them around and see how long it takes before I fill up and uh I have to run down here and then start running around like a chicken with its head cut off. But yeah, Let's get to let's get the harvest. Well, we made it to back there, and uh, yeah, they forgot their assignment. They definitely forgot their assignment. I was so flustered and so surprised um, that I forgot to hit the button. But no, um, they decided to uh, run the header all across the grain cart. Just no regard for it. Just. We're, we're just going to see if we can break it. Yeah. <sighs> That's why I can't have nice things. Now, surprisingly enough, we are actually able to make it all the way around without filling up the uh, grain cart, which is kind of weird. But at the same time, this isn't corn, so I, I should be expecting this. It's, it's oats. Oats don't take up much 
space, I guess you could say. So, yeah, but according to the yield charts, we're actually getting a really good yield. So I can't, I can't complain. We are, we're, we're, we're doing pretty well right now. And, uh, yeah, this is just the beginning and we're getting this field knocked out pretty quickly. So, yeah, it's gonna end up being a pretty good day by the looks of it. <gasps> we get to do up downs now. We don't have to go at weird angles. Oh, you guys are being too kind to me. Oh, bailing this up is going to be easier than it ever has been before. I'll take it. Oh, I will happily take it. Well, if I would have known this beforehand, that, uh, you know, actually going and combining these fields would make our harvest go quicker. I would have considered doing it a while ago, but uh, I didn't know that it would it would make it go this fast. We're already pretty close to halfway done and we haven't even been on it for half an hour yet. Like, this is crazy. I <laughs> yeah, um, I'm a big dummy. I'll admit it. I should have combined these fields a long time ago. Like you guys told me to. All right. Y'all were right. I was wrong. All right. Oh, that tasted like bleach. Please don't make me say that again. Well, I just got offered a unique opportunity. Um, the shop just gave me a holler. They said that they got a quad track 715. I think it is. It's, it's the brand new, um, big boy from case. And, uh, they, they wanted to offer me a demo with it. Yeah. And, uh, they also got this really big, um, grain or, or auger wagon, I guess you could call it. And they, they kind of want to see how well they work together. And well, I guess somehow that means that I was selected to be the guinea pig for this. So I'm not going to turn it down at all. I, gosh, dang it. I hate how you like to move on me. I'm, I'm trying to talk to people here. All right. Quit it. All right. Let's get, get you unloaded. Um, they said that they're going to be bringing it over here pretty quickly. I, of course, said, heck yes. And, uh, yeah, they're going to be bringing it over shortly and we're going to give it a try. Well, I have one combine that's full. I still have a bunch of grain over here, but they are here. They did drop it off and look at that. We have cattle now. That is awesome. Cattle actually uh, got delivered. They were kind enough to deliver the cattle for me. Um, let's get this Steiger turned on. Cause I don't know why, but I shut it off when I got out of it. Okay, so we should be good there. Let's go look at this new piece of equipment. I mean, it's not, it, it is brand new, but. Oh. Dear Lord. Y'all hear that? Oh, it just sounds mean and holy mother of pearl. Oof. Yeah, I think this holds a little bit of grain. Dear Lord. It... Are you big enough? Oh, all right. So guys, this is the new piece of equipment uh, that we are demoing today. We got the Case IH Quad Track 715. Um, has that like 775 horsepower or something like that? And uh, we also have the lizard floater, I think. I don't know. They didn't tell me what it was. They just told me that it was really big and it should actually make the the Steiger or the uh, quad track work. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's jump in here. Oh, oh, this is uh, this is a little too fancy for me. I, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna question. We're just, we're just gonna go to work, as well. Oh, dear Lanta, she sounds good. Oh, I love it. All right, let's see. Uh, 
Let's see how she handles this giant grain bin. Like, this Argo Wagon actually makes this tractor look small. Um. Wow. <laughs> All right. Let's see how well this goes for us. Well, so far, I'm getting down here. It is working out pretty well, I, I will have to say. Um, let's see how she handles getting a little bit of weight put in it. Is this thing going to be too tall? Oh, I was almost certain that it was going to be too tall, but I guess not. Okay, let's uh, let's see how this works out. I'm, I'm kind of curious now. I'm not going to lie. Wow, we are, we're at 47,000 liters and we're only 47% full. Does that mean, I think that means that we're like, this thing can hold like a hundred thousand liters. <laughs> oh, 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 this is a big boy. Um, I'm definitely going to have to talk to them and see if uh, we can keep our hands on this for for our corn harvest. Oh, all oh, the time that this could save us for our corn harvest. Oh, I def Ooh, I definitely need to call them and see when they need this back. Oh, yep, I forgot. That's right. You don't like driving when Ryan unloads you. Oh, so far though, it's handling it like a champ. We're not having any issues and uh, it's working out pretty well. I'm, I'm happy with it. Hold up, what? That did not just make that tight of a turn. It did. All right, um, consider me sold. I did not realize that, that the front axle and the rear axle turn on this trailer and you were able to actually make a pretty tight turn. Um, yeah, this, this trailer is awesome and this quad tracks to handle it like a champ we have 86 tons 86 ton on this right now and we're doing 26 miles an hour 27 like the <laughs> holy cow We only lost two miles an hour going up that hill. Uh, I'm sold. I'm sold. This is awesome. Um, hold up. What is that? Oh, well, that doesn't look very safe. Um, I, I might want to tell him to probably dear Lanta. Probably put a cover over that. That does not look safe at all. Don't, I don't think you're supposed to have exposed. Okay. You, you didn't have to dump oats all over me, but okay. All right, let's uh, get you unloaded and uh, get this thing full and then we'll really put this uh, quad track to the test well i tried it up the hills down the hill everything else while it was uh, while it was completely loaded and uh yeah it handled it like a champ barely noticed that it was you know weighing a hundred tons which is kind of crazy uh yeah this is this is awesome i i'm really considering buying this uh this this grain uh, grain cart oh dear lanta just look at the amount of oats that it is kicking out oh this increased like with it unloading so much faster we could save so much time oh i want it now i really want it oh this is awesome oh i'm so glad i actually answered them i I thought that I had a bill that I forgot to pay and <laughs> you know what? They actually did me a solid. I like it. All right. So the more that I am focusing and paying attention with this, uh, the more I'm starting to realize that she does have a little bit of trouble slowing down 
and uh, coming to a complete stop, but I, again, I have a lot of weight in the back. It's not going to stop on a dime. You know, I'm I'm nitpicking at this point. I uh yeah. No, I'm I'm in love with this. Um so I think that uh we're going to call it right there. I got to go do a lot more demoing with this. And well, we got to get our our peas done because I think that there is potential that we might even if we can't keep this for our um, corn harvest, we might actually be putting this stagger, or not stagger, but quad track to work planting. Uh, we might come back into this field with some uh, rye just so we can see how well it handles the planter. And uh, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe put it to a lot more work. I don't know. But yeah, no, hopefully you guys enjoyed what you see here because, well, I'm enjoying it. This is awesome. Uh, I've never actually been asked to demo equipment before. And I'll be honest, this is, this is, <laughs> this is way too, way too fancy, way too fancy for me. I am not smart enough for this tractor, but if they want to put a dummy in the driver's seat of this tractor and see if it'll survive, I am a wonderful candidate. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Consider subscribing. With that, I'll see you all in the next one. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll be doing some peas. Maybe not. I don't know.